गुड मॉर्निंग सर या गुड मॉर्निंग मैं गई गुड मॉर्निंग माय नेम इज दासर प्रशांत सर या प्रशांत कैन आई हैव अ रीजन या आ प्रशांत सो क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ एंड योर व्हाट इज योर टेक्निकल स्किल्स एंड योर गुड एट व्हिच टेक्नोलॉजी सर सर माय नेम इज दासर प्रशांत आई एम नेटिव ऑफ वरंगल डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई एम प्राइमरी स्टेइंग इन हैदराबाद एंड आई एम कंप्लीटेड माय ग्रेजुएशन इन 2021 इन द स्ट्रीम ऑफ एचएमसीटी फ्रॉम ओस्मान यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई कंप्लीटेड माय इंटरमीडिएट फ्रॉम नारायणा जूनियर कॉलेज and i completed my ssc from uh, sharda vidya mandir high school so coming to my skills i am skilled with html css javascript c sharp programming language and asp.net adv.net my skills sir sir and coming to my project i have did my readm project and it is also part of my fourth semester and okay. coming to my strengths i am a quick learner sir and i have leadership skills and coming to my hobbies i am a good a music listener sir thank you for giving this opportunity to do this and okay that's good good introduction and so you are good at dot net technology yes. yeah okay so can i go with the basic questions in shisha yes yeah, sir okay so tell me uh, what is an abstraction so and give the real time example on it sir abstraction it is a main concept in the object oriented programming language in shisha okay. and uh, abstraction it will hide the internal details and uh, shows the external features i mean uh, it will hide the unwanted details and internal details and it will only show the external features which is useful for the user yeah okay and uh, the best real time example is a banking sir and the banking uh, bank will have the common points for all the customers for example like account number ifsc code and all and uh, with a different uh, data yes yes fine so e c sharp uh, allows the multiple inheritance concept sir we have to use a interface sir Okay. because uh, multiple inheritance will uh, bring the conflicts at the time of the implementation and it will bring the ambiguity by uh, bringing the code method method uh, conflicts yeah fine so can you give the uh, difference between string and character array sir yes, sir string uh, it, will, it is stored in the sir, memory location and it is a single data type right? okay. and uh, character array it will store the different elements uh, for example if we take surya as a name the each element has a uh, each element is considered as a single element and the character array the elements are stored in the continuous memory locations yeah okay fine so yeah uh, can you uh, can you explain me generic concept generic so generic class is a class which which will have the two or more type parameters okay and uh, for example if we have to create the object in the generic classes we have to declare the data type for the generic class yeah okay fine and so in your view what is exception so the exception it will uh, happen in the runtime error sir and uh, the c sharp program c sharp developers has take care of this exceptions and if we got any errors in the time of the execution of the program we will get the exception okay how can you handle it so we can handle the exceptions by the try catch blo block sir For example, if we have any dilemma in the particular program, okay. we'll keep the particular program in the try block, and we'll uh, come to know the error, and we'll catch mm -hmm. it, and we'll rectify it. So, okay, what is the difference between this and base keyword? So, this and base keyword. This keyword refers uh, to the current object, sir. Okay. And the base keyword will be referring to the parent class. For example, if you wanted to use any object from the parent class, we have to definitely use a base keyword. Yeah. Okay. And if you want to access the child class. or the derived class we have to use uh, this keyword because this keyword refers to the current object yeah okay fine so what are the access modifiers available in shisha access modifiers sir we have two different types L like uh, for the class we have access modifier that is internal and public internal means we have to access that only within the class and public we, we can access in the different classes also and for example if fields uh, we have six modifiers okay. that are uh, public protected protected yeah fine so public and protected private private protected internal private protected internal and public yeah fine okay so uh, like uh, you can can we give like when we are add, uh, using the adding cache concept sir adding cache will particularly you know, uh, use in the explicit conversion sir okay. because in the case of explicit conversion we have a chance of losing the data so to in order to take care of the data okay. without losing it we will use the adding cache yeah fine so can you give the difference between class and method yes sir class or class it, it is like a container okay. and it holds the methods fields and the properties of the particular class and the method method itself it is a part of the class 
and it will take care of the objects in the method and uh, execute the particular specified program. Yeah, okay. So in market there is a lot of technologies. Yes. So why you choose .NET? Sir, .NET is a, it is a open source for the uh, developing the applications, web applications, uh, desktop applications. And uh, here we use a C sharp programming language, which is a class friendly platform. Uh, sorry, .NET is a class friendly platform. And the C sharp programming language is uh, easily graspable and learnable. Okay. And uh, dot net we have a huge opportunities in the market uh, i i can i have to came to know uh, by my elders and brothers yeah so fine. i have chosen a dot net okay fine so except c sharp dot net will not support any other language it will support sir it will support uh, nearly like 30 plus programming languages okay. and uh, i am learning c sharp because uh, it is easily uh, graspable and learnable Okay, for database purpose, which one you studied in for database purpose? Sir, I have learned SQL servers. Okay, so for front-end technologies? HTML, mm -hmm. CSS, JavaScript and we have also ASP which is uh, uh, used to develop the front-end. Yes, fine. So, like uh, not only front-end, like it can give the connection between the base yeah. layers. Yes. Okay, so fine. So, have you done any like practical programs in ASP.NET? Yes, yeah, sir, I have did. Uh, we have did the insurance program, sir. Okay. And uh, it will give the interface for the customers and the agents in it, and uh, that will help the customer to register from online, which okay. is easily accessible accessible for every day, everybody in this generation. Yeah, and and uh, you learn ADU dot net as well. Yes. So okay. So what you observe that in ASP and ADU? Sir, ADU it acts like it acts like a bridge between the database and the I mean uh, the ASP C sharp. And the ASP it is used to create the web pages and give the connection to the backend, which will hold the business layer uh, yeah. and the database layer. Yeah, fine. Yeah, uh, good question. So I think I done with my side. So here any queries to ask? Nothing, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your questions.